Hey guys, Mike Chan here in Houston on another amazing food day and starting off with Burger Chan. So this place is really interesting. You walk in and there's all these little clipboards here, color coded, and the white are beef burgers, yellow grilled chicken, there's chili, pink is hot dog, fish is blue, falafel, of course, green. I'm getting a beef burger. Yo, sounds good. Let's do a five ounce pack of pepper jack cheese. Let's do an egg. Sear spam, sure. Sauteed onions, sauteed mushrooms, charred jalapenos, and kimchi relish. These are free, so look at some pickles, ketchup, mayo, lettuce, tomatoes. Extras, first one is free soy serrano peppers. Yep. Pickle habaneros, yep. Samba mayo. Let's try the scallion aioli as well. Let's do some curly fries and a chocolate chip cookie. Sounds good. And here it is, my monstrous, multi-multi-layered skyscraper of a burger. Tomatoes, pickles, jalapenos, mushrooms, spam, egg, lettuce, kimchi, tomatoes, and pepper jack cheese. And this thing is beautiful. I really wanna just unhinge my jaw and take a bite of everything here. Also, normally I would cut something like this in half, but I think if I did that, I'd never be able to keep all the ingredients together. So, I'm just gonna try to eat it like this. Go ahead and crush my egg and let that yolk waterfall down the burger skyscraper. I am honestly just so excited. Got my sides of chilies and also they give me some uh, a little powder of ghost peppers just in case things aren't spicy enough. Got some sky aioli for my crispy fries. Mm, that's so awesome. The samba mayo. Holy moly. Yeah, you definitely taste that spicy fish sauce. Time to somehow bite into this burger. What a way to start breakfast at 10 o'clock in the morning. A little jaw workout. I wasn't able to do much damage to the burger on that one bite. This is this is about how much damage I did. It's kind of like throwing a bat at King Kong or something. Really didn't face this thing at all. But the bites I did take, a little bit of the bun, that beautifully seared spam, some of the pickles, tomatoes, kimchi, and that deliciously crispy buttery burger. One bite, I already know. This is a mind-blowing freaking burger. I mean, it looks beautiful. Trust me, this thing tastes even better. Mm -hmm. That bite pretty much got everything. First thing you taste right away is the crispy, juicy patties. Oh my gosh, it's charred to absolute freaking perfection. Spam was such a good call because you add that additional fatty, fatty flavor. The egg adds to the richness and the creaminess, a little heat from the jalapenos, and then tons of refreshing crunch from the pickles, lettuce, tomatoes. This is freaking unbelievable. Not only is the patty texture perfect, the seasoning and flavor is on point as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this ghost pepper. Not bad. I think I'm just gonna dump on all the habanero and the jalapenos too. Oh, that heat just started hitting me. <coughs> Man, now I feel it big time. My tongue is on fire. My lips are on fire. Now I kind of wish I got a milkshake instead of a sparkling water. But overall, it's still the good kind of pain, the good kind of heat. It's really fun to go to a place where you can build your own burger. And really here, no monstrosity is too big. And then to have it not only look intimidating, and also taste like utter burger perfection. That's not easy to accomplish. This place has 100% done it. 10 out of 10 burger. All the ingredients are amazing. I'm sitting here in 100 degree Texas heat. My mouth's on fire. I'm sweating profusely. And I don't want to put this down. It's a testament to how good this burger is.
Ah, that was a messy, but utterly delicious burger. And that has been an amazing Texas breakfast. All right, let's go grab some lunch. This next place I'm going to, if you thought that burger was big, this dish is gonna blow your mind. This is one of the most outrageously incredible looking dishes I might have ever seen in my life. Let me just explain what's happening in front of me here. There is a giant hot stone bowl filled with fried shrimp, some fish nuggets in there as well, with a giant fried tilapia in the middle, covered in chili, some avocado, there's a cluster of snow crab in here. And this thing is just surrounded by a molt of shrimp. One is covered in chili sauce, the other more garlicky sauce. There's mussels with lemon and butter and garlic. This whole thing is called charola on suelo and it's making me sweat just kind of looking at this because I'm getting a little nervous. There's so much on here. Of course, there's a fish that looks like it just got caught somewhere and then dropped directly into the deep fryer. I don't even know where to begin to eat this thing. And they also brought out some other dishes that they're known for. There's a cheesy pineapple filled with seafood. There's a ceviche, some nachos, empanadas, fried shrimp mummified in bacon. It's gonna be kind of a, kind of a big meal. A little bit. All right, let's dig in. First of all, I'm just gonna try the shrimp on the bottom here. The ones right in front of me looks like the garlicky shrimp. This thing covered in red chili sauce. Tons of garlic on this as well. If you don't want, don't even need to remove the shells. This thing is just as delicious, probably even more so with the shells on. The shrimp is super sweet. The outside seasoning, there is no mercy in the seasoning. There is a ton of heat on the shrimp. So I thought I grabbed the wrong shrimp. I thought I grabbed the spicy shrimp by accident. So I went and tried the spicy shrimp. Yeah, that's actually the spicy shrimp. This tastes like how the outside of this restaurant feels. Extremely, extremely hot. Mm. Oh my gosh, there's so much flavor. Like I said, it's spicy, it's garlicky, it's citrusy as well. No one flavor is really overpowering the other. And again, nothing covers up that sweet taste of the shrimp. And inside the sizzling hot bowl, more fried shrimp. There's fish nuggets, avocado to kind of cool your tongue down. And my tongue is already on fire after a couple pieces of shrimp. Look at all the chili flakes on this. This place will have no mercy. When they say something is hot, it is gonna be burning hot and I love them for that. Fried shrimp. Mm. Fried shrimp is so awesome. Crispy layer of batter. Inside, juicy, tender, scrumptious shrimp. Again, covered in that signature chili sauce. Wow. Luckily, they brought over a, a pina colada. You better be able to handle your spice when eating this. Fried fish nuggets. Mm. Wow, this is so good. This is so good. The batter is crispy. The outside chili sauce so delicious. Inside, perfectly delicious, tender filet of fish. Mm. I'm almost afraid to pull this fish out of this bowl. And by the way, the stone bowl is still burning hot. Just grab it by the tail. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I did not realize there's like a layer of lava-like chili sauce on the bottom of the stone bowl. And of course, deep fried and the, the tail, the fins, that's gonna be your fish chip. Mm. Light, crispy, natural fish chip. And again, look at this fish. Covered in the signature chili sauce. Looks like salt and pepper on the outside as well. Look at that juicy, tender, white, flaky meat. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. This sauce here is so amazing. This should bottle this stuff here. Look at this golden, crispy outer layer. What you can also do, take a piece of fish, dunk it back into that sizzling bowl, into the hot sauce. Mmm. <laughs> that is a fantastic way to eat that fish. Also, check this out. Cluster of snow crabs. And again, the stone bowl is still burning hot, so everything in it, it's not getting cold. And if you do feel like your tongue is taking way too much punishment, take a piece of the avocado, put it onto a spicy shrimp. That definitely balances things out. One last thing to try on this platter, the mussels, a squeeze of lemon. 
everything in here, from texture to flavor, to tenderness, to juiciness, to the natural sweetness of the seafood, so beautiful. And finally we come to this, the snapper on a hook. I don't think I've ever had to take a fish off a hook at a restaurant table before. This of course, deep fried as well. And just like everything else that's here, perfect. Mm. This is what I like to call the ultimate fish fry. Outside, salt and pepper, perfect. And if you want any additional seasoning on this, dunk it into the chili sauce. Mm. Not a single bad bite on this seafood platter. It looks beautiful, tastes even better. But just remember, have a drink handy because it will burn you. Their classic nachos with chicken. Tortilla chips are made in-house. These chips are so light and airy. Chicken is tender, cheese is gooey and yummy. Mm, that's some good nachos. Next up, this cheesy pineapple stuffed with seafood, olives, mushrooms. Oh wow, it's cheesy, it's gooey. Some nice sweetness from the squid, the shrimp. But what's really cool about this is on a real pineapple, so you can kind of scoop in a little deeper and get some of that pineapple juice and then put some fried rice on top of that. Hmm. So you're pretty much getting cheesy seafood pineapple fried rice. That's such a great way to eat this dish. This is a plate of empanadas and shrimp mummified in bacon. Mmm, mmm, they stuff this empanada. Absolutely stuff it full of cheese and shrimp. Every bite you take, you get some gooeyness, you get some sweetness, and I'm so looking forward to this. I love it when anything is mummified in bacon. Dunk in some of the mayo. This is one of my favorite things here. This is so freaking good. And the sweetness of the tender shrimp completely enveloped by that fatty bacon. There's literally nothing not to like about this dish. And check this out. A tower of ceviche. Shrimp, fish, octopus, avocados, tomatoes, cucumbers. Mm. It's spicy. It's really citrusy and absolutely refreshing. I think what's really interesting about this place, first of all, everyone I met has been so incredibly nice. The food looks outrageous, especially that dish where it looks like the chef just, just hooked the fish with its cooking tool. But the main thing is everything actually tastes good. So as outrageously beautiful as every single dish looks, ultimately it's gotta taste good. And it does. So if you like seafood, you like spice, definitely get that dish I got with the hooked fish. Also, cheesy pineapple is delicious. Love the bacon shrimp. Ceviche is a must. And if you're a nacho person, nachos here are amazing. I was trying to eat as fast as I could because I don't want anything to get cold. There's a lot of cheese involved. So I was able to taste everything. I feel like at pretty optimal temperatures, it's a really fun place with some delicious food. This place every single day brings in fresh blue crabs from the Gulf and they cook it in a multitude of ways. And one of the ways, the blue crab is buttered deep fried, then tossed into the wok with some veggies, salt and pepper. This is definitely a less saucier blue crab. Look at this, this is the best part. Right here, all the innards of the crab. Let's go ahead and grab all that. Start with some pure flavor. Mm. Look at this, this is one of the biggest blue crabs I think I've ever seen. This claw is about the size of a Dungeness crab claw. All nicely battered, give that a squeeze, crunch it open, and there it goes that beautiful, white, flaky meat. The thinner parts of the shell, you can just crunch through all that. Like a little tasty crab chip. Blue crab, it's a little more work for a little less meat than his cousins like the Dungeness King or Snow, but you're not gonna find a more delicate meat on a crab than this. The meat of a blue crab is just the most tender crab meat you can find in the crustacean kingdom. Mm, that's basically a naturally sweet crab lollipop. Joint meat is even better. Mm. Even more tender 
and sweeter. Like I said, I've never had blue crab cooked this way before. I've had a salted pepper Dungeons crab, but this way of eating blue crab is perfect. The batter is light, the outside seasoning is peppery, it's a little sweet. Perfect amount of flavor, nothing overwhelms the sweetness of the crab. This is gonna be as fresh and as sweet as you're ever gonna get. I mean, again, I'm just shocked by the sheer size of these things. Look at this. This claw is just humongous. I also got a order of blue crabs cooked in their special seasoning. The crabs are first boiled for about 15 minutes in their special sauce, tossed into the wok with tons of chilies, garlic, lemon, scallions, onions. I mean, this thing smells citrusy, it smells spicy, look at this. Oh my gosh. There you go. That is a beautiful blue crab in all its glory. Open it up, revealing all that delicious innards. Crack this open. Again, sweet, beautiful. White succulent meat on the inside. Dunk it into the sauce. Mm. As for spicy, yeah, they definitely delivered on that. Holy crap, this thing is really spicy, it's garlicky, it's smoky. And that sauce gets in every single little crevice and crack of the crab. Whereas the salt and pepper version, I feel like it allows the natural sweet crab flavor to shine more. This one, this is just a flavor bomb. Take some crab meat, dunk it in some of the innards, dunk it in some of the hot oil, let me back into the innards. The texture of the crab meat, the way the chilies and garlic and all these awesome ingredients taste with the crab. Also, there's a lot of lemons in here, so the citrus kind of balances out the butter and the oil. You just want to suck every single morsel of meat and juice from every single little part of this crab. Oh, it's so good. That is so good. Yeah, I like the salt and pepper version, but this one with the overwhelming amount of heat and garlic, yeah, that's my favorite. If you love a Cajun boil, you gotta try out fresh blue crab Cajun boil. This is just making you so happy. I am at Good Company, one of the most popular seafood joints here in Houston, and they are known for their campechana. So this is the Capuchana. This is one of the dishes that this restaurant chain was founded upon. So at every single Good Company location, you're gonna find this dish. And this is a cocktail of shrimp, crab, pico de gallo. This is one of the greatest things ever. Yeah, they're not kidding. Yeah, you could definitely build a restaurant empire on this dish. Oh my God. Absolute perfection. I don't know how they did this. I really didn't think much of this, I'll be honest. I thought it was gonna taste a little tomatoey. This is all the best you want in seafood in a Sunday glass. The seafood, first of all, so fresh, plump, really juicy shrimp. Tomato is not overly citrusy. It's mellow and sweet and really juicy. There's diced up peppers in here, avocados, delicate sweet chunks of crab, tons of fragrance from the herbs. I mean, everything about this. It's just the most balanced, perfect dish in every single way. Every time you take a bite, you're thinking about the next bite. This is just magical. Wow. Oh, I highly, highly recommend this. Never had anything like this before. Hey, right, pure seafood magic. Also, when you come here, you gotta get some food items from the grill. They are famous for their wet mesquite grills. So the wood they're used for the grill is wet mesquite, which produces a lot of smoke. And as soon as these roasted cheesy oysters came to the table, you smell that right away. Mm. Mm. Get out of here. That's crazy, it's witchcraft. These are the smokiest roasted oysters I've ever had in my life. I mean, these oysters wouldn't be allowed on a plane. That's how smoky they are. Mm. And when you take a bite, that smoke just travels all throughout your senses. The oyster is juicy, it's plump, it's cheesy. Oh, this is so good. This is so, so amazingly good. Also got their seared tuna. Tuna is seared really quickly on each side. Mm. Sitting on some soy mustard sauce that got so much umami to it. Also sitting next to the most perfect deviled egg I've ever had in my life. They should call that angel egg. That's how good it is. I can definitely see why this is one of the most popular seafood places in Houston. This is unbelievably good. Every dish that I have so far.
Mm, unbelievable. I feel like my taste buds are just hypnotized by that food. Ah, oh, so crazy. One more dish. Last dish, red fish on the half shell with golf shrimp stuffed with white cheddar cheese and jalapeno wrapped in bacon. Mm. This restaurant is too good. This fish again, infused with that delicious mesquite smoke, tons of great char, and every bite you take, the smokiness of the fish just gets more and more intense. And on in the inside, this fish is so tender. Dunk it in a little bit of the charred lemon caper butter, which adds a ton of citrus to this fish. Wow, this is just incredible. Mmm, oh, this is so good. And this shrimp, and this golf shrimp is absolutely stuffed. Oh, oh. plump, delicate succulent and i mean super super delicate shrimp oozy cheese little crunch from the jalapenos this whole thing is grilled again on that awesome mesquite grill this is pretty much shrimp perfection this is the most delicate of seafoods enhanced with flavors that in turn enhances the natural flavors of the seafood wow I never even heard of this restaurant before I came to Houston. What a phenomenal place. And that wraps up my shellfish slash seafood tour of Houston. And it definitely ended on a very, very, very high note. And as always, all plays that went to us down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.